Hello and welcome everyone. Namaste, swagat. Uh, this is the fourth webinar in the subject series that we have, uh, uh, you know, conducted from Joe. Uh, this is entire theme that covers different subjects every month so that we can have a deeper interaction with uh, faculty members who may or may not be subscribers at Joe, but could always benefit from, you know, the evolving pedagogy that we have. Uh, a very quick introduction. I'm Prerna Bhanushali, manager for the customer success team here at Joe. Joining me on this call are my colleagues, Preeti Sridharan and Stephen, uh, Stephen John, both from the subject matter expert arm. And if you end up putting your course topics, you know, they would be very uh, easily be able to pull out videos for you and share with you right here on the chat itself. Okay. Today, as we focus on the physics webinar, uh, physics series, we are going to be discussing about how uh, we can create more engaging uh, courses for students because physics as such is a more abstract subject. So visualization really helps. But before we go into you know, uh, the presentations and the deep conversations about the content, it's a 3 p.m. middle of the workday, it's a Wednesday, middle of the week. So we're going to do a bit of warm-up exercise. If you don't mind, you can answer these in your chat box. And let me know, why is it difficult to play golf in space? Even the panelists are encouraged to answer this. No gravity. Close, very close. There are a lot of black holes in space. What comes to your mind when I say avak javak suchak chanda? It's nothing but your traffic signal. We get stuck there most of the time. This must be easy. Lopat gamini. The minister is very active. It's your locomotive train. When I say the word mix, what really comes to your mind? Maybe because we are all academics here, we have somebody stirring something or somebody is pouring two solutions together in the lab or somebody is doing a serial dilution. Everything comes to mix. The point is that we all connect with our content very differently. Whatever comes to us, we try and assimilate and uh, connect it with images that we may remember. So next time you are at a traffic signal, you're going to remember Avak Javak Suchik Janda and Joe, and hopefully all of us. This is exactly what Joe does. It brings together your courses, your learning outcomes in a very, a good story for your students that they can remember better, that they can engage with better, and that they retain much longer. So all your complex fundamental concepts can be understood in a much more uh, simple fashion, yet with a longer retention value. When I say reading versus visualization, this is a right-hand thumb rule. A lot of people end up will end up reading the paragraph on my right on my left side at least twice. But because we are from the physics fraternity, I think it'll be much easier. But what about your undergraduate students who just come into you know the physics world and want to understand this? But if you simply say the entire paragraph along with this, or give them a visual aid, or give them an actual running video, a series of images together, they will remember this forever. In fact, anytime they see something spinning around a, you know, a string and they just go and hold it together because that's what young students do, they'll always say, okay, this is the direction of the, you know, this is the right-hand rule. So what we do here at Joe is we bring for students to see what they read and then hear what they see. So this together generally ends up with, oh, I got it. Now I understand the concept. Now I know what I'm looking at, and now I can go further and deeper into this entire concept. A little bit about Joe. We are a world leading producer of scientific videos from experimental as well as fundamental concept perspectives. Both sides, we help with high impact animations and also help uh, also bring videographs of real scientists 
conducting real experiments in their labs. So everything that is scientist in action and your fundamental concepts are brought in together for your students to look and to understand things in a more immersive experience. We have 1200 subscribing institutes. That means a lot of faculty members are engaging with us. We are providing them with content that they can uh, enhance their teaching uh, pedagogy and students can come back to them with better questions, not just with what are we learning today, but how do we apply this today? This is a glance of few of our customers that we have a, a little bit loaded on the India side because this is for all of our Indian customers. So what is it that Job really addresses? On the researcher's side, we help uh, researchers uh, with a big concern of reproducibility. A lot of times, uh, scientists have difficulty reproducing the same experiment. It's because sometimes a mix might not mean pouring together, but a mix might just mean stirring. A cut or, you know, expulsion might not mean, you know, simply cutting it laterally, but might mean something dorsally or crushing it. So, what they intend to say in a text article may not always be captured in the text, but if you see an entire video centric to that research author's experiment, you will know exactly what to do and how to replicate the same experiment with the same outcome. We help uh, with trainings, uh, the costs or the contingency heads that you have under your different grants, we help put them together because if your students go well-trained or well-primed to different institutes when they're conducting their dissertation trainings or when they're going to learn a new technique, they're already primed to the basics. And then they go further into like the depths of that or complexities of that application or experiment. We also help in maintaining lab continuum. So for example, you are a researcher and you have certain few instrumentations in place and you, you're, you, know, you have a turnover of your stuff. You can simply put Jove QR codes right there. And next time your students come in, they know exactly how to operate that instrument without at all, you know, harming that instrument. On the education side, we engage with the faculty members to support in their student uh, um, interest in classes. This is done by, you know, providing them with videos that might uh, pique the interest of students that are of the TikTok age. Students not comprehending complex videos, uh, complex concepts can easily be done with these 90 seconds videos. And then they can delve deeper into textbook readings or the transcript readings that we already provide. We can help faculty members with flipped learning, synchronous or asynchronous. And this really helps with test scores. And of course, as the customer success team, we take all this hard work that you do of the, you know, the time consuming course material preparation from you, elevate you out of this entire uh, exercise, bring everything together for you, and you can then just pick and choose what exactly you need for that course. So we will help you uh, supplement your course with these resources. Because we are academics and people of numbers and statistics and science, we have a study from UCLA that uh, promotes or that uh, basically solidifies the, uh, you know, the, the claim that the test results or the impact of these videos or AV uh, engagement with students gives better results or better learning outcomes. We saw in the study, for example, an 89% hike in the uh, test scores when st the student group watched videos and came to labs. Amongst their conclusions, they mentioned that the students had improved uh, understanding of foundational concepts. They were better able to comprehend. So it really helps with students. Similarly, we saw better performance in students in pre and post lab. So there were comparative groups, groups that did not watch a video and groups that watched a video. Those that did watch the video were better primed to conduct that experiment and were very confident when, uh, when uh, delivering the entire practical. I'm now going to hand over the session to uh, my colleague Preeti, as she will walk you through the entire series of uh, Joe's physics offerings. Over to you, Preeti. Thanks, Prerna. Um, so I'll just quickly share my screen.
Oh, are you able to see my screen right now? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us today. I'm Dr. Preeti Sridharan, subject matter expert here at Joe, And I'm very much excited to be your guide as we explore the fascinating world of our physics collections today. So in on the first hand, why did we, uh, you know, go for physics collections, basically physics videos, because in order to recognize the importance of physics, as also Prana mentioned that abstract, uh, you know, uh, concepts in physics. So we have developed an ex ex extensive collection of videos that that are specifically tailored to meet the needs of both the instructors and the students that will enhance the learning as well as teaching experience. So I would like to quickly introduce you to our website before uh, we go on, you know, uh, explore the website live in our platform. So Joe platform has two different collections. We have education and research. So under education collection, which is primarily a teaching and a training tool here. And today we will be focusing on core and science education collections. Um, and our core collection to, to give you a difference between this core and science education collections here. So our core collection consists of animated videos completely of fundamental concepts in that subjects and, and it is of short duration. Whereas our science education videos, it is a blend of theory and practice uh, that will have uh, uh, some of the concepts that are being discussed in, an, uh, in a research setup as well. So, and also it is, a, it is comparatively a longer duration video uh, than our uh, core videos. So under research, we have uh, video journals. We have 13 different video journals, uh, including engineering. So I would encourage you to uh, find some videos from our engineering journal as well that will give you a glimpse of some of the advanced physics uh, and its applications in engineering. So let us dive into our uh, core physics collections and the key features of core physics collection. So. Our core physics collection is an expansive collection. As you can see, there are 33 chapters with closer to 500 videos. That is 498 video lessons in it. And uh, these videos, they also have subtitles of 14 different languages. And additionally, we also have um, 99 scientists in action videos. And uh, as previously mentioned, these uh, I mean, videos are only 90 second longer in duration with one concept per video. So. One, one video will have just one concept explained in it. We will not combine multiple concepts in a single video. So that is one of the highlight of the core collections, I would say. And uh, as I mentioned about this uh, scientist in action videos, these are uh, you know advanced supplementary collections, collection of videos that we have handpicked from our journal collection that discuss the real time application of some of the concepts that are being discussed in that particular chapter. So I'll be also showing you these videos and how to land on these pages while we you know explore the live platform of joe and the next key feature is the conceptual animation so this collection specifically stand out as they have conceptual and crisp animation so these animation you know that illustrate the physics concepts that are abstract concepts in physics which are you know very much uh, basic and complex concepts as well so this will enhance the student comprehension and the retention of that concept and these are basically created, um, you know, based on the uh, widely used textbooks in physics globally. So that is one of the uh, important uh, thing I would emphasize here that it will just aptly fit into any of the courses globally as well. And then the another key feature that I would like to mention is engaging videos. We have very engaging videos that with clear explanation and, you know, voiceover. And this, as I mentioned, it meets the global curriculum and syllabi requirements along with the learning objective specified for your particular institution. And this collection can easily fit into any undergraduate syllabus, any undergraduate physics syllabus and basic engineering physics syllabi as well. So next one, I would like to, um, you know, emphasize the uniqueness of this uh, entire collection. So the entire collection is, is, is that we have curated videos for problem solving and real world applications in physics, which is one of the important, uh, you know, mm, nuance that students should learn when it comes to physics. And it is very important that they learn problem solving and also the application, some of the real world application, real time application that they can relate to uh, in their day to day life. 
so uh, so our collection also include videos on problem solving i can show you a few two videos here so this will help the students to develop their problem solving strategies and build confidence in them uh, and their ability to you know apply these physics principles and it also enhances their content retention on how to solving a problem so here as you can find i uh, there is a problem solving video that i have mentioned here which is in chapter number 6 if you go to core physics uh, which is on tuning of a guitar string it is a very interesting video so this video explores the physics of tuning a guitar Uh, tuning a guitar um, i mean in, and it also solves the related problem for the accurate pitch and harmony and next we have a real world application video which is a dynamics of circular motion and its application so this particular video about car it demonstrates the practical application of moving a, of a moving car in a circular motion in different direction and speed so and 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 how a racing uh, course has been designed based on this so i would encourage you to watch these two videos from our website so coming to the content overview of uh, that we have i mean in our physics that like, the entire video collection that we have in our physics core physics collection so i'll walk you through the collection now so to easily understand the variety of contents that we have covered in this collection uh, so we have divided it into five sections basically based on the broader area where these videos fit in so as i mentioned earlier we start from the scratch like from the basics and the foundation of the physics so first to give a glimpse of the basics of physics we have chapter 1 and 2 for the students that will introduce them about the fundamental concepts like measurement uh, units dimension vectors and scalars so uh, fundamental videos that provide necessary basic concepts to understand the upcoming difficult concepts in physics will be covered here in these two chapters and next is mechanics mechanics and it is a as we know that it is a broad topic so uh, we have chapter 3 to 13 that covers various aspects of classical mechanics including we have video lessons on motion dynamics uh, momentum rotational motion equilibrium and then fluid mechanics so uh, this provide a comprehensive understanding of the uh, fundamental principle governing uh, you know behavior of an object in motion under the influence of force so this is extensive and in depth coverage of all critical concepts in mechanics uh, with real world application and problem solving uh, you know videos are there in, in from um, i mean in these chapters and then we have oscillations and wave we have uh, two chap three chapters dealing with the oscillations and wave that is chapter 15 to 17 that cover the phenomena of oscillation wave their behavior properties and with a focus on um, you know sound waves their production and propagation along with wave equation which is a bit complicated topic for students to understand we have equation solved equations and how to solve an equation uh, in our problem solving uh, videos uh, in these three chapters so next we have thermodynamics which is one of the important topics in physics we have chapters 18 to 21 that that delve into the principles of uh thermodynamics starting from the basics of thermodynamics including temperature heat behavior of gases and then we have uh, three separate videos that explains the laws of thermodynamics so all these uh, i mean all the basics covered here will brace the students for further advancement thermodynamic topics in their curriculum and finally we have electricity and magnetism we have an i mean a extensive uh, video collection for these two topics from chapter 22 to 33 so this explore the uh, fundamental principles of both electricity and magnetism encompassing the uh, topics such as uh, you know electric uh, charges electric field electric potential uh, magnetic forces and then circuits and behavior of electric electricity and magnetism in both um, circuits and then direct current alternative current so these lessons as you can see these are planned as such uh you know that progressively increase the comp complexity of the topics from the basic and it it progresses to the complex topics so this will help students to assimilate the concepts equation and the application with great ease so uh now we will uh, see uh, some of the other uh, you know content that we have on under physics collection apart from our core physics collection we also have science education physics which is a video library dedicated to teaching the theory and practice of experiments so under which we have 30 videos 
that cover classical mechanics, thermodynamics, electrostatistics, um, and then optics, magnetism, and electrical circuits. And uh, for deeper insights into the applications of physics in engineering subjects, uh, for example, like mechanics, uh, electricity, extra, we have an entire collection of science education engineering videos covering major branches of uh, engineering, including electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. You can find videos uh, in these two collections. I will also show you in the website how to land on these, uh, where you can find the uh, engineering perspective of physics. And this is our recent collection uh, that, that was launched very recently, which is our core mechanical engineering collection. It has uh, 11 chapters that cover fundamental physics principle like statistics, uh, vectors, equilibrium, friction, but everything in the perspective of an engineering student. Uh, so apart from these, we have uh, ready to use resources in our website. Uh, so you, I will also show you how to utilize these from our website or how to land. And these are uh, ready to use playlists, uh, basically are a comprehensive playlist that are uh, that will have videos uh, from the uh, physics collection that is available all over, all, I mean, from our entire repository. So we have three uh, playlists here for ready to use play, under ready to use playlists for mechanics, electricity and magnetism, wave and optics. So these are, uh, these can be directly loaded uh, to your LMS. That is the advantage of this. And apart from these, we also have uh, books that are from physics that are already been mapped and available in our website. So currently, uh, we have some of the, I mean, majorly used textbooks in physics uh, that are already mapped, and these are available in our faculty resource center, and they act as an, you know, excellent uh, supplementary material for students, those who are referring to these textbooks while studying. So, um, so the usual feedback that we uh, get from uh, faculty, or the major problem that students face while studying physics is that the, the physics is, it has abstract concepts that are hard to visualize for them. And it is hard to, you know, grasp those concepts. And also it also requires some of the mathematical skills to understand the equation. And it is sometimes they also feel that it is too dry to read the concepts. So that those are the uh, usual feedback that usually uh, we, we usually receive from the faculty. So I want to just connect this with an analogy here. So have you ever wondered why there are mirrors near or inside the elevator of your apartment or hotel lobbies? So um, to, so what was happening in the mid of 20th century was that uh, the initial fascination of these elevators were waning off and people were complaining that elevators were taking too long to go up and down. So the building managers, what they did, they contacted the engineers of the elevator company and they performed a study and they confirmed that elevators were actually taking, um, you know, too long. But it is also not possible to replace these elevators because the building is aging. So they brainstormed this entire problem with their team and uh, there was a psychologist in the team who came up with this brilliant solution. So what they did was basically they just reframed the entire problem saying that waiting time was not too long, but it seemed to took too long. So what we can do to make it shorter, and then they came up with this brilliant idea of installing mirrors, giving people something fascinating to look at. And what could be more fascinating than looking at themselves? So it's a simple solution here that was not only reducing the complaint, but was also cost effective as well. So the learning here is if you reframe a problem, you certainly have a different solution. And here you, ha you have Joe, which can be your mirror that can solve your problem. So before I conclude, I would like to take you to, uh, to our website and I would show you how to land on some of the resources that we have. Okay, so uh, to land on to our website, you can uh, type www.jove.com that will uh, redirect you to app.job.com. First, I would encourage you to sign in using your institutional email ID. So if you have not created one, I think Prana will be uh, guiding you to create an account. So here, after signing in, you can find your name here. And at the top ribbon, you can find our collections. One is research and education. So if you just drop down the menu here, you can go to physics. 
and you can find both of our collection on physics. One is core and it's science education physics. So if you can go to core physics, you can see all 33 expansive chapters here. And I'll just click on to chapter one to show you. Yes, so here you can find the video lessons. So as I mentioned, it is one concept per video. And here you have in another tab, our scientist in action videos. I will also just show you a glimpse of the video lesson. So this is a video lesson that you can, that you can, if you click play, it will, it will start playing. And uh, let me just show you the science education physics as well. So yeah, we have unit one and unit two in physics. I'll just click on two. One collection here. Yes. So. This is our science education physics collection. So as I mentioned, these are longer duration videos and they have they, one of the advantage which is not there in the core is that we have timestamps here. If you want to play a particular part of the video, you can just click onto the timestamps and play the video. It will take you directly there. And uh, apart from that, we have engineering collection, as I mentioned. So we have core mechanical engineering here. So this also will give you a glimpse of, you know, uh, physics in the perspe perspective of an engineering student. And then we have science engineering here and we are expecting core electrical engineering sooner. And then uh, as I showed in, our, in my slides about the some of the uh, ready to use playlists that you can land by clicking on to our faculty resource center. So here you can find two different sections. One is videos mapped to your courses and teaching labs. So you can just click on to physics here and you can find these collections. And if you click on to one, here is your playlist. And then here, as I mentioned, we have textbooks that are mapped. So if you click on to physics, it will take you to this page where you can find textbooks. And if you just click on to one textbook from here, you can find chapter wise playlist. So here, I'll just show you one chapter. So here these videos that are arranged based on the inner inside content of the book of, I mean, of this particular book from chapter one. So that being said, if you feel that you have a course outline that needs to be mapped with our job videos, I would encourage you to uh, send your course outline to Prerna or your ded dedicated curriculum specialist. And we have an internal team of curriculum specialists and uh, subject matter experts who will be taking care of your uh, you know, request. So I'll quickly hand over the session now to Prerna. Uh, Prerna, over to you. Thank you so much, everyone, for your active listening. Thank you so much, Preeti. Uh, now I'm quickly going to take you back to how we can uh, share resources with students. Um, right. So uh, as Preeti briefly mentioned that we will need to, uh, if you're already a subscriber, you will have access to everything that's under Jove and under your subscription by the library, and you will be able to access everything. Uh, if you're on campus, you will definitely be able to just log into jove.com and you know view everything. However, if you have students that would watch things that are being directed by you and would like to watch it after they're back home, then please do create your job account so that you know any playlist that we do create comes to your playlist account and you can just embed it. So to create an account, just uh, go to jove.com and click on sign in. Once you do that, prefer to uh, select the create an account option. What you need to do here is put your institutional email address and uh, this is just the institutional email address. You don't need to put your institutional password and other credentials. Just using your institutional email address, Jove on the back end will uh, recognize the email domain and provide you access as per your institute. Once you complete that, you will get a verification email and based on the stringency of your inbox, uh, it would either be in your inbox or it would be in your spam folder. So please do uh, make sure to you know search your spam folder also. Uh, once you do that, once you click on the verification email link, you will receive a, a little bit more of, you know, like data that you had to put in. For example, your name, your last name, you need to put in your password, institution name, 
And I would recommend for all faculty members to always select their role as professors, instructors. This also applies for PhDs who are teaching assistants so that they are able to then embed. We have this distinction between students and faculty because a lot of our faculty members use quizzes as graded assessments for their students. And uh, students should not have access to these quizzes in terms of the answers and the answer keys, which is why this distinction. Thus, selecting your role is of pivotal importance. Finally, click on create account and then you should be ready to go. Uh, for those who are using Google Classroom, we can uh, simply look at the copy URL option from the embed page and add them to the Google Classroom uh, material list. For those institutes that do not have any LMS, we do provide our in-house LMS platform. Uh, this is called Joe's My Class. And it works like this. So when you go to joke.com and your institute, uh, like for example, BITS has access to all of the Jove uh, My Class series. Uh, this is part of the subscription and does not come at any added cost. Uh, all you can do is just go to My Class. You will see it under the education drop-down menu. Go to My Class. And this will bring a particular interface like this. What you need to do is fill in the details. You select create new class and put all the details in. For example, this is a physics course that I've created for uh, introduction concepts to physics. And you can put in instructions. Now, one thing important here is if your institute does not provide uh, the students with institutional email IDs, they can, uh, you, should, you must select open for the access type. So if they're using their Gmails or Yahoo's or any other open domains, they will still be able to log in and access the joke material that you've created for them. If all your students do have, you know, institutional email IDs, just select restricted and we sh they should all be able to access it. Click on create new class and this will create a new class for you. So you can also share this class with faculty. So for example, if you're a course coordinator, or you have other faculty members contributing to the same course. They're taking unit one, you're taking unit three and five, and other members are completing the other units. You can add them to this entire same class unit. We can compile all the playlists, joke playlists, which is basically curation of videos relevant to your course syllabi. And we can put them in here. So for example, you can just look for the playlist. So for example, general physics one, part one, part two, part three, everything covering topics of physics. We've added them and then you can just uh, publish the class to your uh, students. If you want, you can also add assessments. This is currently a feature available to all unlimited subscribers. Uh, but if you are interested in having assessments from Jove, do let your library know, do let us know, and we can uh, try and uh, put you in touch with our accounts team. So, these are assessments. So every every video gets a MCQ. So one video has three MCQs. Students can quickly answer. You can always know whether you know they're understanding the concept or not. You can create a SWOT analysis for your entire class and know at the end of the day which topics you will need to revisit with your class. Once you're done setting up the entire class, it's very easy to share this with students. You can either give them the code just ask students to go to joke.com. They will see, uh, they have to create an account. They will see join class and they can just put this code. The best, one of the best ways is also sharing the link. If you are in a uh, WhatsApp group with your students, just copy the link and put it into your uh, WhatsApp group. Once they click on it, they will get uh, like a questionnaire of sorts that asks them to put in their email address, put in the code, and then that is it. They will need to create a password possibly so that, and this is for the purposes that every student uh, knows where their progress is going and everything, every data is not collected together, especially for quizzes. Or if you already have your student list, you know, ready, you can just upload it right here and you can share the invite to them. They will each individually receive an invite. Uh, there's also one more thing that I do want to mention. Uh, so you see the section of documents. So say, for example, there are uh, presentations that you want to upload for your students right here. You can do all of that. You can put uh, JPEG images, you can put uh, PDFs, you can put Word doc, you can put your PPTs right here. And this can become a centric place for all your course needs. So students, if they need to reference anything that you're teaching, 
they can just come right here and they can grab it for themselves. Uh, once uh, this is something that CSs or curriculum specialists, my team can actually do for you, set up the entire class and all you need to do is publish the class. Um, and say, for example, once you do publish a class for the confidentiality and the sanctity of the class, Joe loses access or visibility to that class. So all your notes, all your class progress, everything stays for your eyes only. And this is in respect for faculty members' own uh, uh, sanctity of class, like I already mentioned. So Joe, as such, provides your student journey or student learning experience from the very foundation of scientific discovery to practical reinforcement from you know, Joe lab manuals, you also have methods and techniques being shown to them through science uh, education. And finally, they see the real-time application through the Job journals that we have. So experiments can be viewed and reviewed. This is the entire purpose of Job, the entire mission of Job, one video at a time, enhancing education experience. For the next steps, you can request a curated playlist. I've already shared the form for uh, submitting your course details. And please feel free to book in a one-on-one -on -one with me if you want to um, discuss in detail what your course requirement is, what, what kind of support you need for your students or what level are you teaching so that we curate content that is aligned to your course needs. For example, a video playlist from Joe would look very different for an undergraduate level as compared to that of a master's level or even a final year undergraduate student. So we need to understand what your course level is, what your course requirement is, what are your learning objectives and accordingly our team from the subject matter expert side will curate content for you. Everything on Joe platform will come together for your courses and uh, this will be delivered to you via your Joe account or via an email through your CS conversation. I will help you set up your entire class and uh, any number of classes can be done. Any number of playlists can be done. Any number of courses can be done. This will all be part of support services with your subscription. This is my contact details. You can, I'm also going to put it in the chat so that it's easy for you to grab onto. It's prerna.manushali at job.com. Please feel free to send out an email to me. We will be doing a follow-up for all registrants and attendees, but feel free to send your course details to us and we will be happy to map this out for you. I'm happy to uh, open the session for questions if anybody has. If any of you have any questions, please feel free to, you know, ask us. Also, we have uh, Dharma with us. He is the associate director. And if your institute does not subscribe to us, you can definitely reach out to him. Uh, yes, Mr. Thiru. Yeah. So I was looking at the various chapters you have for physics. You know, it uh, seems to stop with electromagnetic waves uh, because you also mentioned that you're mapping your content to Rustic and Halliday and etc. So if you look at resting reality, there are other chapters after that, like dealing with quantum physics or uh, basics of electronic devices and so on. So do you plan to include those in future? Preeti, do you want to take that? Yes. So uh, thanks for that question, doctor. So uh, yes, we are planning. We are, as I mentioned for engineering as well, that we are trying to, you know, expand the collection for, we are, very soon we are getting core electrical engineering that is for your engineering electrical engineering related question and of course yes we do have uh, some of the chapters that are uh, planned for uh, physics uh, for in pipeline for us right now so you can expect uh, more releases this year in physics specifically thank you Preeti. and as an unlimited customer you'll have access to all of the new content that gets released so as soon as electric engineering comes around you will have access to that as soon as the physics units start releasing you will also have access to that dharma would you like to add anything uh, well i think it's not only the contents which uh, uh, are increasing in the uh, you know existing subject i think we have also planned to come out with 
uh, uh, new subject areas. Uh, if somebody wants, we can uh, share them with uh, what is being coming or the forthcoming uh, plan with them. They can get in touch with you or me or uh, any of us, and then we can share them what is being planned uh, for maybe 25 or even uh, uh, year after that. Yes. So uh, we can always share the content roadmap and like the expected timeline. Yes. Thank you, Dharma. Uh, I'd just like to add one here, Dr. Thiru. So as you mentioned, uh, when you look at our collection, when we release a new one, you can see a, like on that particular uh, thumbnail, it says new. And also you can find if anything is updated, it will show you as updated. So if you want to find anything that has been released recently, you can see the new appearing on the thumbnail. Also, you can see updated. Thing. So yeah, feel free to check that. Thank you, Stephen. So like I mentioned, our customer success team, not just does single course maps, we can do entire departmental. We can help the entire department have curated playlists. We can do quizzes. All of this can come together for you through customer support from our side. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for your time. Thank you, Preeti. Thank you, Stephen, for, you know, uh, showcasing all of Joe's offerings on the physics subject area. And uh, have a lovely day ahead, everybody. Thank you so much for your time.